Welcome to the Improve the News podcast. NASA has launched a study of unidentified aerial phenomena. And here are the facts as agreed upon by NBC, Al Jazeera, The New York Times, and Snopes. On Thursday, NASA announced the establishment of an independent team to study available public information on UFOs and gaps in knowledge about the phenomena. The agency's science mission chief stated, we are not shying away from reputational risk to improve data to better understand the so-called unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP. While NASA has conducted studies searching for life within the solar system and beyond, this is the first time the agency will examine unexplained phenomena within Earth's skies. This high-risk, high-impact research is separate from efforts led by the Pentagon to study UAPs and will be led by astrophysicist David Spurgle, who currently holds a post as president of the Simons Foundation in New York. Other scientists haven't been selected to support the effort yet. Spurgle affirmed he's keeping an open mind and that his only preliminary assumption is that UAPs will most likely have multiple explanations. The study itself is scoped to use no military data, cost $100,000 or less, and last nine months. Last month, Congress held its first hearing on UFOs in more than a half a century, with top U.S. intelligence officials and members of Congress agreeing that UAPs are real, but remain a mystery. Thank you, Eric. There are several narratives spinning out from this story. The first one is provided by space. This is a cosmic wild goose chase at the taxpayer's expense. Government agencies are clamoring for sensors, databases, and personnel when explanations as mundane as planets and stars can explain UAPs. No matter how uneventful the true causes probably are, there will be a clamoring for a gravy train of public money on this questionable endeavor. Thanks, Adam. Narrative B is being provided by The Conversation. Statistically, it's much more likely that UAPs are a national security threat emanating from advanced technologies deployed by U.S. adversaries. Our early combing of the galaxy has turned up no aliens so far. While we keep searching the cosmos for signs of life, odds suggest these are human technologies snooping into our airspace. And there's also the nerd narrative provided by the Metaculous Prediction Community there is a 20% chance that conclusive evidence for extraterrestrial life will be discovered within our solar system by 2050. 